Guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I'm gonna be playing on the Limit One Festival, and typically I really enjoy playing those Limit One events where you just play single turn one card of each. It's just really fun in other card games and in Yu-Gi-Oh as well. And today I bring you Infernoble Knights because this is one of the best decks to play on this event. The reason why is because even in the original deck list, you pretty much play one copy of each of the main deck Infernoble Knights, so it's not that big of a limit here. The main downside is that you cannot go for the double Charles play, but that's not that big of a deal because we have other engines and other things we can do as well. Now the Infernoble Noble Knight Monsters, we play one Renault, one of this guy, one old gear, Oliver, Magia, Sturpen, and also we play the one Gear Freed, Fire Flame Lady, and the Red Lair, pretty standard ratios, obviously. And also we play the one new space connector with the Dolphin and the one Sublimation Knight with the Squeen Knight, which are just one card combos that get you access to the, uh, you know, Isodi, which are really nice to play in the deck. I also played the Abelis Star with original Simple's Pose and Wanted to get us access to a level one body. And also I played the one for one reinforcements of the army and the Heritage of the Chalice, which are just really great searchers for the deck. And on top of that, we play a number of different hand shops and so we've got Effect Veiler, Drow, Ghost Ogre, Ghost Bell, Ash Blossom, Nibiru is here as well. And we've got the Regeki, Duster, also we've got the Triple Tactics Talent and the Trust. Trust is actually really good because you get access to pretty much any normal spell card in the deck and we have so much of them, so great targets. Also, we've got the one copy of the Code by the Grave, Cross Out and Impor. And Cross Out is actually really nice because you get to use the effect and just negate pretty much anything because most people are playing a lot of these hand traps and staples. And as of the equip spells, we play one DDR, one Living Fossil, one Durenda with the Joyas and also the Almay and also the Angelica's ring and we play the museum with the Angelica combo just to search out the museum and go for the Charles play. It also works really well as an extender too. In the extra deck we play the one Rowan, one Angelica, one Charles with the one Burnet Floor, one Reliquist Animal which we go for every now and then it could be a really nice surprise for our opponent. The one Charles in the Isodi of course, the Hita and the Flame Swordsman. Flame Swordsman is actually kind of nice just to boost your monsters and attack points could be really useful sometimes. The one IP with the SP this is just one of the best combos to go for. Prometean Princess with the Amphibious Swarm Ship and also we've got the one Apollo and one access code which are just really great to set up a couple of interruptions or just get a good finisher and finish the game well that's pretty much it for the deck list so now let's get into the gameplay and have a little bit of fun on the limit one event Okay, that's a hand. All right, that's actually a really good hand. Let's start off with the reinforcements of the army, and I'm gonna be getting the, of course, connector because that's you know the best starter play. From here, let's normal summon the connector, activate the effect. See if he has an interruption. Maybe he has. Maybe he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Now let's activate dolphin. And what am I gonna get rid of? We're gonna be pitching this queen knight because I don't need it. And now let me see what he has. He's playing a going second strategy, but um, I'm gonna be pitching the kit. And although that's gonna give him a little bit of value, I feel like it is better than just keeping it in the hand. So you know, it's a little bit of a weird choice i probably shouldn't have done that but it's not that big of a deal anyways yep and now he gets the extra value to search out fractal interesting choice okay so now i'm gonna be using some of my monsters start point place by going into the zodi i can just combo off completely he has no interruptions no nothing so that's fine also, let's activate the effect of the Zodi. I'm gonna be searching out the red layer, which is gonna most likely be used for some sort of a discard folder. Now, let's activate the Zodi's effect. I'm gonna be sending four cards to the graveyard. Everything except for the Owl Mace. Actually, no, I'm gonna send the Owl Mace to the graveyard in that case. I wanna keep the Durandal available and let's pass some of the old gear to the field. Also, I'm gonna be allowed to send to the graveyard something else with the effect of it. So, what do I go for? I wanna go for Turpin because that's the extra extender for the deck. Now, from here, I'm gonna be going for also the Abelis Star. I'm gonna be pitching the. Actually, hold on a second. If I go like this, can space someone warrior monster from my hand so maybe i gotta time it perfectly uh well now let's go with this actually i have a different idea equip it onto the zodi from there i'm gonna be activating the effect of the turpin bring it back to the field which is you know really nice all right bring it back and now i'm gonna be uh maybe going for some different place so what can i do here i can go for prometheum princess goddess and all that stuff actually i cannot get the extra value off of joys right now so i'm gonna have to pitch the red layer but that's still fine i get to space someone into the field which is you know it's better than nothing right it's also really good uh let's activate with also the effect of it set to the field the original team for spoils and i'm gonna be activating the original simple spoils but i'm gonna be probably getting rid of the joyous here because i don't really have a better option for now so yeah it's a little bit of a lost value here but it's still fine and now i'm gonna be special someone actually the level one guy because i need a tuner and not that and now because that won't be a tuner let's uh see do i activate the effect of it maybe actually not i don't need the extra body right now although it's not the most perfect possible combo to go for it is still a really good one also we get a lot of extra extra value which we're gonna see right now uh, first of all we're gonna go for the museum and we're gonna be activating the real rare museum which looks amazing by the way let's also go like this search out the durand out to the hand 
which is gonna be the extra you know add to hand which is a little bit a little bit of a bonus here so that's really nice now we're gonna go activate the effect of it so what do we need now oliver always a really good target actually i'm gonna go for an out in that case because that's gonna be a better target so now let's pay some of that and out to the field activate the effect and that will give me access to the living fossil again which is just so amazing here so uh from there i'm gonna have to equip something onto the angelica so i'm gonna have to link off the old gear maybe we can use two of my monsters just for the ip immediately but i don't think it's a good idea i feel like it's better to go for the appalooza by using the old gear also the zodi for two of course also the diabelli star and this is a little bit of a long shot but i it, it proved to be really useful at times so let's just uh, see what happens now let's go all gear target the angelica of course which will let me uh, change the effect of the angelica some indie captain roland here and uh, i'm just clicking buttons at this point obviously but i have a few interesting ideas i'm also gonna be sending to the graveyard something else i could go for magius for the extra draw and that's what i'm you know gonna do also the captain roland gonna give me the extra popping effect and on top of that the uh, you know uh, of course the effect of the magius go plus one and then i'm gonna be going for the charles play as well so now let's return the troop into the deck also i'm gonna bring back the durandal because i kind of prefer it in the deck and also maybe the owl mace is not too bad to return as well uh in case i go for like a play with it you know in the future turn now sublimation knight to the hand is not that bad and from here i'm gonna be activating the effect of the of course living fossil and i'm gonna be spec summoning back to the field a level 4 body it doesn't matter what i spec summon it just needs to be a non-tuner bone spec on the magias now using these two we get to go of course for the charles which is just the favorite part for me just summoning the double charles but in that case we're not gonna go for that we're gonna do something a little more interesting so let's just go like this we're gonna activate the effect of the um i guess this guy here because i don't have a better target just equip it onto the charles and now of course i'm not gonna activate the effect of it i'm gonna go and use it to summon the emperor charles the great which is an additional spare and chop card negation on top of that we gotta try to get access to uh, you know the angelica's ring effect so let's see how that will go we're gonna go like this now and also i get to activate the effect of the uh you know museum pay summon to the field the emperor charles which will let me go for the of course level 10 Boronita Flood which is uh, you know the main difference compared to the new to the old combo the standard combo I don't think I have an additional way to equip something onto my channel so I kind of lose the extra value off of the Angelica but uh, I really don't think I can do anything about it we could go for this effect which I guess it's fine oh my god I saw the line of play guys <gasps> that's huge we get to equip oh no the screen ads in the graveyard never mind but it's still possible maybe we go like this oh we still have a play oh never mind this it's actually really nice let's just pop the um oliver which will let me then activate the oliver and that will be the equip one well I, I think this is the turn guys this is just wow glorious turn now we get to return the angelica which i completely forgot about and i'm also gonna be equipping from the graveyard the angelica's ring which is the mandatory spare chop card negation and from the deck i'm gonna go for turpen which is a little bit of an extra you know protection here oh maybe i should have shuffled back a different target not the turpen that's a little bit of a waste but it's not that big of a deal zodiac sign well that's gonna get negated with the angelica's ring and uh that doesn't do anything unfortunately but wow this is a glorious field summoning alpha to the field um i think it's time to just get rid of it and just pop it right i'm gonna go now for the effect of the captain roland here equip it onto the charles which will just let me activate the effect of the captain roland and just get rid of that all right that's really good now that's one of the bigger things to go for uh, you know he doesn't have that many plays going now zodiac whiptail okay he probably needs to go a face and attack and summon the zeus and summon a big fat zeus that can use the effect more than two times but i'm not sure if he can even do that because like three times it's not that easy to summon he just cooled the game though uh, that was a quick game you know there was nothing you can do about it i just had a crazy feel all right normal summoning manadium torrid activate the effect now the obsession that's fine we do have the bro i have the one of drawer and Oakboard. that is the hardest counter to manadium this is so bad for him oh my god i am i would have been pissed off if i was him dude yeah good luck playing the game bro bro i have also harpist feather duster oh my god i'm gonna just humiliate that guy look at this this is just gonna destroy him completely just scooping i'm gonna just see him scoop right now <laughs> bro this is so bad i haven't even started playing the game oh man yep searching out the new space connector because that is just gonna be the starter to go into his audio with and uh, i don't know why he's even waiting here i don't know what he's supposed to supposed to do here actually all right let's also activate the effect of the dolphin i'm gonna be sending to the graveyard just something i guess i can go for like durendal or uh, i don't know durendal is actually one of the bigger cards let's go for something like the um original simple spoils i guess oh wow that's gonna be below also getting destroyed yeah sure bro um it's, dude that's so bad for him <laughs> Thank you. 
well uh that was a little bit of a nasty game for my opponent but what can i say dude I just had every possible solution in my hand. I don't know how that happens, but sometimes you just have the one of everything you need. You just win the game from there. Pretty nice game, I guess. Have a great day, guys.